What's up YouTube, Jimmy and Bernape here, and I'm back with a pickups video for the month of January. It's strange to see me have this many pickups. Honestly, I had a little bit of money after Christmas, so I was like, screw it, I would splurge and I got a lot of $5 titles here, so you're going to see a lot of garbage on this list. Some good, some bad. So let's get started with... Minecraft on the 3DS, it's the new 3DS version. Honestly, I've never been a Minecraft fan. I it was in high school when this was released first. I remember it was a huge deal when I was and they were playing. People were playing on the computers at high school, and then I was just like, "Now nah, play Halo." Yes, yeah, so there was a little uh, security flaw, which I just so happened to find, and then exploited the hell out of. So yeah. Uh, Runbow Pocket Edition, haven't played this one either yet. It's a seal, it just got it like two or three days ago. Crossword Plus, nothing special. Sealed also, haven't played it. And then finally, this one's a shocker. Best Buy was clearing out right around Christmas. I think, actually, I think it was Christmas Eve, it might have been. Yeah, come on, I was in the hospital then, but uh, they're clearing up Fire Emblem Awakening, so I price matched at Walmart and got two copies of it for five bucks each. I haven't sold any yet. I'm playing with selling them off or trading for other 3DS games because I already have an unopened copy. I'm going to keep one CO for myself. It's a great game. Uh, another good thing was I managed to get some Atlas titles on the list. I'm down to one now, and that's uh, Shin Megami Tensei Apocalypse. And then a few ones that are Japanese exclusives, like Attack on Titans, I think it was. That doesn't really count because those were only released digitally here and then physically under a different name. I think it was Spike Chunsoft that published them there. So yeah, let's go. Shimigami Tensei Soul Hacker. The game didn't hold up at all. It's a remake of a Sega Saturn game. And it just doesn't hold up, honestly. I wouldn't pick it up. And Devil Survivor, a huge fan of the series. Played the shit out of the first one. It's actually, I think, my number one played 3DS game. And that one's just good, I think. A little bit worse, not quite as good, but I would still put it in like the 90 range if you were to give it a rating. Great time for some garbage, yay! Thor, uh, God of Thunder, you know, the bad ones, movie life game I haven't played it yet. Roller Coaster Tycoon, or it's really bad, haven't played it yet. A lot of these I got just in a, in a pickup, honestly. So, all in the same pickup. Uh, Wreck It Ralph, probably not good. The Amazing Spider Man, I hear this one's actually supposed to be pretty good, but I haven't played it yet. I've been too busy with that one. And then, finally, this one was only like five bucks on eBay, so I had to get it with this boulder dash. Pretty fun. But I haven't played it yet. I hear it's supposed to be a uh, remake of the arcade game, which I really did enjoy the arcade, so yeah. Okay. These two I got from my brother when uh, he, was, he was up in a different place. Uh, Power Rangers Mega Force. I came up a bunch of cards. That's pretty cool. I've never been a big Power Ranger fan. To be honest. I know I know a lot of people are going to hate that, but just being honest, I never really enjoyed it. Sonic Lost Worlds. Honestly, with this game, don't pick it up. Don't even give it to your kids. It gave me motion sickness. Because it's just. It's Mario Galaxy except Sonic form, and it just. The stage is moving so quickly, it doesn't work at all. Here are two more I got. Uh, TMNT Danger of the Ooze. Haven't played yet. This one was actually a big surprise for me because uh, I got it and it was like five bucks, and I was thinking, oh, this looks like a budget title. And I was like, huh, I've heard of Majesco before. 
they made a lot of PC games back in the day. You know, it's weird for me saying back in the day because I'm not that old, but I remember some of them back then. So, it's called Crash the Mayhem. It's sort of like Wipeout, or not Wipeout, uh, Burnout, sorry. So, yeah, it was pretty fun. I got some enjoyment out of this. And then time for some exclusive games. Some region locked ones. And by the way, you can't play the, these next four on any other region. Except for their own unless you mod the consoles. <clears throat> First one, it got this sample of shit on it. Like, it got the seal shit on it. And I thought it was going to be horrible. And this is the first not great, decent, like maybe a 50 if you're going to give it anything over 100. And that's Disney's La Violetta. I did a little, uh, let's play, or a little opening and playing of this. It's a European exclusive. Pretty sure it's to France. I couldn't really find any copies that were English, so it plays in English. Who cares? It's a little more, but... Oh yeah, side note. I just noticed this. Uh, European games are slightly thicker. <coughs> Let me know the title of the And my last three pickups are actually a really funny story. I got these, uh, I was literally up at night at like 3 in the morning, right before we moved down here. I ordered these, right? <clears throat> they never arrived, so I sent off a complaint, and you, you saw in my videos, I was bitching about it for the longest time. But they never arrived, and I was alluding to it. And then finally they just arrived today. So I haven't had a chance to play them, and I was just like, okay, that's cool, seeing them arrive, even though I already got a refund from them, so it's so awkward, I wouldn't go to a seller, be like, yeah, they showed up like a month and a half late. Yeah, no joke. If I had waited and hadn't uh, claimed them, then the claim for the 30 days would have been up, and I would have been shit out of luck if they never did show up. So yeah, they finally did show up. These are Japanese exclusives, so first time showing them off. EX Troopers, I don't know what uh, the other part of that says in the name, but it's part of the Lost Planet series. Apparently it's a spin-off that never got very much traction in Japan somewhat expensive and I end up finding it for like 25 bucks or something so this is like two months ago pretty cool seeing that this one right here I know a lot of people are gonna say hey I have this in my collection this is rare no this isn't the same game what you have is probably Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate on the 3DS there was Monster Hunter 4 that came out exclusively in Japan this is the first version and they got 4G which basically became Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate and if you're curious why the hell does it have a jet black case if it gets a C rating which is about between a M and a teen rating over here then they give them the black cases it's pretty cool I wish they had done that for us and then they also give her the cool black label so yeah this game never came out. Technically, it did, but it's like a what do you call it? All the DLC or whatever is in the other version. So yeah, Monster Hunter 4, and then the final one that just arrived. This one I ordered. A lot of people are gonna call me a pervert for ordering this. I don't care. It's hilarious in my opinion. Ooh, I just noticed that. Oh, it's really nice. It's a shiny ass cover. which is called Love Plus, or New Love Plus. I'm going to try to get that on there. Let's see if I can get it. You can see like a city, it's just like a cityscape in the background, which I never noticed. Let's see. You can sort of see it there. But yeah, I find this hilarious because to us, yet yeah, us North American people, and Canada, Canadians especially, there is literally no dating sims that come over the, the seas. 
no joke, like you rarely see them ever. And this is just hilarious for us thinking that this is actually a game that people will buy, and it is. So I was like, for, a few, for not too, too much, it usually sells for a lot more than I paid for it. I'm not going to say how much I paid for it, but I ended up getting it, and it's a nice game in the collection. For that. And then I might try it. I'm trying to learn Japanese, and then if I actually learn it, I probably will play it. Really cool because it comes with a lot of stuff. Like, when was the last time in a 3DS game you saw a manual that friggin' thick? It's like half the size of the case. Came with a lot of stuff in it. I think it's always cool seeing these little promotional arts. I miss that with our regular 3DS. It's like you just, like there's a little card in there. I miss seeing that. Honestly, so those were all my pickups. I had a few other ones that didn't show up, like I had an exclusive uh, Yokai Watch game, I think it was. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's that series that's basically like Pokemon and didn't really like that much. But, anyways, they never showed up, so I will do a video for next month, hopefully. Probably won't have as many games as this. But, maybe so. Anyways, hope you guys like this. Chimney Inferno here. Signing out.